Hey guys, we're back to work on the Mustang here. Um, been away for a little while, had some stuff going on. I've been uh, racing a lot, had some landscaping to do, so that's why I've been gone for a few weeks. So I've been crashing this thing almost every weekend, so having to fix it a lot to get going again. Luckily, these frame sliders saved it. Um, and then the solid pegs. The other thing too is, uh, Look at that, we got grass in the front yard. So having to water it, install a sprinkler system. So garage has been kind of a mess lately. But uh, today we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at the crankshaft uh, part number and see what kind of balance um, the crankshaft is. Because if you remember last episode, we made sure the flywheel and the damper are 50 ounce. So now we just need to make sure the uh, crankshaft is. So I went on Amazon, bought one of these uh, these little wireless boroscopes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove that into uh, the drain plug hole right at the front of the oil pan, and hopefully get a part number on it. So there's a little light on the end of this thing, uh, and it connects to my phone, so hopefully... Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to see something. Okay guys, this is what we're looking for. So this is the first counterweight um, on the crankshaft. Um, so this is the first main journal. Um, there's your first pin. Um, anyway, 2MAE. That's what we're looking for. 2MA is a 28 ounce, 2M is a 28 ounce, and 2MAE is the first year of the 50 ounce balance. So this is the part, this is the stamping that we'll be looking for. Okay, so I took the drain plug out. Um, I already see something in there, so I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but I'm going to let all the oil drain out, and then I'll try and shove the boroscope in there. Okay. So the um, boroscope doesn't have a microphone, so I'll walk you through what's going on here. So right there, I went through the drain plug, pretty much hitting the oil pump every time I go in. And uh, it's really confusing once you get in there because you don't know which way is up or down or left or right. You just see a lot of blurriness. Um, so here in the right hand side, you can see that there's a marking there. I think it says 24C and uh, that really throws me off. I thought I was onto something and then I found bunch of other numbers that didn't mean anything and then um, finally I decided this wasn't getting me anywhere all right guys I've been at this for about two hours um, problem is the oil pump is right there you can kind of see it um, and I really can't uh, get this thing up and bend it uh, tight enough to get it in front of the oil pump so I can't see the main uh, journal so what we're going to do here is I think we're going to drop the oil pan as it is uh, drop it maybe an inch and then I can fish this boroscope uh, through the side uh, yeah right up here through the side right here between the oh this is hard to film right here and then I'll be able to fish that boroscope a lot easier from there and hopefully see what I need to see so it's pretty tight in here see the old pan can only drop maybe focus maybe an inch that should be enough to get the end in there okay we got all the uh, pan bolts off uh, except I, I just loosened the two back ones so I think if I get a screwdriver and I put it here should be able to pry this down a little bit okay well surprisingly um, not as much room as I thought. 
um, but we're gonna try and fish this through here anyway. I'm just gonna have to pry it open and then fish this in. And then uh, turn the crank uh, to hopefully get the, uh, the markings in the right position. All right guys, so here's the uh, timing chain. And you can see I'm, I went in from the right hand side of the engine. Um, it was a little cleaner and I can kind of get a little more room in there to move the boroscope around. So you can see the timing chain's in pretty good condition. Doesn't look like that would be contributing to our vibration issue. Um, trying to move the boroscope over now and uh, having a hard time sliding it. But here's where I found uh, the marking and uh, my heart kind of dropped. Uh, it was 2 M A E, and uh, that signifies that we're uh, 50 ounce balance. So it's bad news. All right, so <clears throat> it was a pretty bad picture, but it does say 2 M A E on there. So that means the crank is 50 ounce um, in balance, which matches the flywheel and the harmonic balancer. Um, so where do we go from here? Um, do we have a bent crank? Um, did someone rebuild this engine with the wrong components? You know, the wrong pistons or something? I don't know. Um, so if anybody's got any good ideas, uh, let me know. Um, because I got a few parts that I got to put on this engine eventually, if we ever get this vibration fixed. So some of you might have noticed this in the last episode, but it's kind of hiding something under this blanket. Um, I got some nice shiny new uh, GT40 cylinder heads, um, fresh from the machine shop, new valves and springs, and then I got a, this an E303 cam, got a 70, 70 millimeter, 70 millimeter Holly throttle body, and um, this is a 75 mil mass from a... Uh, 94, 95 Mustang. Oh, I almost forgot these parts. This is also a, a GT40 intake, uh, lower, upper and lower intake, uh, ported. I don't know if you can see that with the sun, but uh, it's ported. So all these parts gotta go on there. If I can ever get this 302 working right. So any help would, would be appreciated.